Hello, good morning everybody. Um, this is just a quick video to remind myself as to the sort of pickle I've allowed myself to get into by aiming, hang on, let me just stop the film right there, um, to do the cine films that I believe were all done by my dad, who is deceased, and I am cursing him right now. As you can see, there is a lot of film that has spoiled over. I apologise, um, I'll explain why this is here in a minute. Um, all over the floor. And one of the reasons is because he was a tight git. Okay, I'm going to use that word because it seems to be one of the words somebody in my life seems to be using a lot lately. And you, when that happens, you seem to pick up on their mannerisms. How I have found several spools that are actually empty in the box with his cine film reels. And here's one as an example. So why on earth he decided to try and put as much cine film onto one reel as he possibly could is beyond me. Because all that's happened is it has literally just come off the reel, unwound itself and ended up on the floor. So I am now having to carefully and painstakingly sort it out. I don't have to. I could just throw it in the bin. I could just burn it. I could just throw it in a charity shop, whatever. And it could be somebody else's issue. But so if you do ever try to do something like this, I mean, this is the machine I'm using. Um, this is not a promotional ad, by the way. It is actually a Wolverine. It's the best one they say that's on the market. I'm going to be honest with you. It's completely and utterly crap. All right. For something that's the best one on the market, I am so glad I did not pay top retail value for this item. And the reason I know it's a Wolverine is because when you actually flick there to turn on, it actually comes up as Wolverine. It didn't do it just then. I've had to turn it on. Let me turn it off and put it back on again quickly and see whether it flashes up. Literally, you're talking... Like, no, it's not done it for whatever reason. But if it is a Wolverine, let me try one more time. No, it's not done it. It's probably because of the, um, the image on the camera is not that great. But it does actually flash up for literally like a tenth of a second or whatever and says the name of the brand of the product. It doesn't say it anywhere else on the actual item. And the reason why I've had to put this piece of cardboard here is because if I take this away, you know, it's not done it now. It wants to do this. It is basically, it's top heavy. Um, they have not counterbalanced the actual item correctly. And so what tends to happen is gravity will do what it does. It makes everything fall forward and fall. And so what ends up happening is you are constantly having to be vigilant to make sure that these don't fall off. The other thing is this is actually on like a lever arm and depending on the weight of the reel that you're using, it does start to drop down over time. So yeah, anyway, so this is a problem I'm having at the moment. I'm having to back battle gravity because it's wanting to physically push the machine forward, which is trying to make the reels fall off. They are supposed to slot in and hook in and be secure, but it doesn't always work. And what happens is these little plastic things break. Um, I've been quite blessed. My dad actually had enough, so I haven't had to go out and buy any new ones. Retail-wise, these are about £3 each, 3 to £5 each. The reels themselves can be anywhere between 3 to 20 quid each, and that's just with nothing on them. If you do, however, look at buying any, go for the vintage ones. Do not buy the repros that are made in China. They're crap. Okay? And what you want to try and go for is the ones that I've got here, which are called Dixons. And the reason I would definitely recommend these ones is because you have a little slider here on both sides, um, this little red slider. So what you do literally is you just slide it up, slip the film in, slide it back down, sorted, job done. Some of the others are a little bit more compl complicated and a lot more time consuming to use. So if you are going to buy any, 
look for the vintage ones. I've probably now, anyone who's got any of them in storage is probably going to be like, oh my gosh, they've been recommended as the best. We're going to put the price up um, to sell them. But again, I would definitely recommend buying these. Do not buy anything new that's on the market. So again, like I said, this is a Wolverine. Do your research. I didn't buy it as a Wolverine. I brought it as um, reused, secondhand. I did ask the original owner what make and model it was. He couldn't tell me. He had absolutely no idea. He just said he brought it. He didn't know how to use it. He gave up. I was like, oh, okay, £250. Do I risk it? Do I not risk it? Or do I just go and like burn almost a grand on buying a, a new one? So I just took the risk. Um, so there are loads of people selling equipment like this secondhand. It's probably still in really, really good condition. But again, buyer beware, you know, do your research. That's all I can say. Um, but yeah, so, so far I've painstakingly persevered with using this model of machine. But for something that is supposed to be idiot proof or foolproof and supposed to be the best on the market, it really is not, unfortunately. So if you are concerned and thinking, should I buy this product? Go for, another, go for an alternative, cheaper version. If you can't match the budget, because I'm sure every single one of them has got some kind of flaw. And it's like with anything, it's just learning how to use the tools that you've that you've got. So I will persevere. But like I said, I am not happy with my dad. I am cursing him from the grave. Not that he ever had one. He was cremated. Um, but why on earth he decided to put so much real on one spool is just, oh, it just aggravates me because now I've got a painstake in these we splice everything, we split everything in order to find the continuity of everything that he's put because none of his um, films have actually got any times or dates or locations on them. I'm literally having to cross-reference from general knowledge and experience everything that I'm seeing on the video. And at the moment, a lot of what is on there is cars. It's like, yeah, okay, all right. You were in an era when... Beatles and camper vans were so popular. I'm not making a documentary about Beatles and camper vans, people. Yet every single reel seems to have that on them. So if you are interested in the history of Beatles and camper vans, please let me know because I am unindated with footage of these vehicles that have been taken all over the world. So hopefully this um, will either make you laugh or make you cry. But either way, I just hope this helps people not to end up making the same mistakes as I have. If you have any questions or queries or comments or support you can offer me, that would be very much appreciated. Alternatively, please, please, please be patient. And once everything is finalised, you will be able to view everything that is on the videos that I would have edited. My deadline for this is um, 2024, so fingers crossed I will get it done by then.